Hey everybody, Carlos Perez, and I have a major update for the Pyro Media Center. And I'm doing a video to show you guys how to do these edits you need to do in order to update it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to want to completely remove the media center that's in there now. So we're going to click on settings, go into apps, and we're going to go over to the media center. Now on yours, it's going to say 17.3. On the one I'm on, because it's a brand new box, it says 16.1. So don't pay attention to this. Yours is going to say 17.3, and we're updating it to 17.6. So you just want to go in here and click Uninstall, OK, and then OK again. So that has completely removed it. Once that's out, that means your build and everything are completely gone now from it. So we're going to go into the updater app and we're going to download the new PMC to do that you're going to go over here to the hamburger menu click on that and download PMC latest so we're going to click on that it's going to start downloading once it's downloaded then we're going to completely install that so it's going to take probably about like three minutes it does not go all the way down to the end of downloading, so don't worry about that. It stops at that point that it's at right now. So don't be concerned that it's not going all the way across. It was a really small program, and, and, and doing the, the visual for it, this was like the easiest way without making it look smaller. So once it's done downloading, that's when we're going to go into where it's at. It's going to be stored inside the unbox. And then we're going to extract it and install it. So I am going to pause it and wait for it to completely finish and then start again. Okay. As you can see, the process is complete. We're going to click OK on it. And we're going to exit out of this updater app now you're not going to need the updater app anymore but it's still going to be there even though we're not going to need it so from there you have a couple of choices the first thing we're going to do is go into the app installer now you see the app installer is here guys but it's only there because I put it there if it's not there, you're going to go into the plus sign, click on that, and you're going to check the app installer. So see, when I uncheck it, then hit return, it's not there. If I want to put it back there, I press, press the plus sign. I click on it so that it makes a green check mark. Then I exit this. So with the app installer, we're going to go into the app installer, and it's going to pull up all of the APKs you have on your local disk. So you see right there, local disk is selected. I click OK. I go down to Pyro Media Center, and you see it says 176. So it's 17.6. I click OK on it. I click Install. And it will install it on the box for you. So that's how you completely remove the media center and put the new media center on there. Now the new media center is we're going to be doing away with the updater app, but you can keep it because it's just a backup. Okay, we're going to click on done. We're going to hit return on the remote. Now we're going to go into the plus sign and I want to organize it. So I want to put the player right behind the mega box so the media center behind so I'm going to turn off the app installer and I have quick support the installer and the cash cleaner the little rocket guy so I'm going to turn off the updater the quick support and the rocket guy so those will be removed from the bottom and then being that I want it next to the mega box, now I'm going to click on the media center. 
so that puts it next to there then I'm going to click on our cache cleaner then I'm going to click on our updater and then the quick support then I'm going to hit return and you'll see that everything is organized the way I want it so that's how you organize that bottom row too now I'm going to click on the media center which is going to go through the first run so there's going to be a whole bunch of steps that you're going to have to do in there so I just clicked on it is preparing for the first run as you can see we're going to click on the mouse icon and then we're going to go up and click OK on this swipe down turn off the mouse okay so it says welcome to the wizard you see up top it's installing some updates that's going to run and do that and then we're going to click on the dismiss notice and then it asks you what do you want to load so this is the pyro wizard this is why you're not going to have to manually do this stuff anymore so if you're going to be using tracked TV to keep track of stuff you definitely want to have track if you want to use the real the bread service you're definitely going to want to keep that and everything else you can is basically optional the main things the clear cache the packages and the and clear the thumbnails are already there so that's the main thing that we are going to focus on so if you look at it you'll see that we have the two things up top checked and we're going down to continue okay so we're down on continue okay the builder menu so right now it's saying that um, there's currently no build installed do you want to install the build so you see ignore build menu we're going to go to build menu and then we're going to choose a fresh install and you're doing a fresh install because you completely removed everything from the box already when you took out the 17.3 so we do fresh install and we just let everything run okay so do you wish to restore your PMC configuration to default settings before installing pyro so just click on continue so it's highlight in red see so whichever wherever the red is that's the one you're going to choose so choose continue and it is downloading the build which is pyro 2.7 I mean 2.8 and it's putting everything in there so it, it's estimating it's going to take about four minutes right now so I'm going to pause this while it's doing it and then come back when it's done okay the download was complete you see it's zero errors now it's extracting and adding everything so after it downloads you'll see that it will start installing and I will pause this while the install takes place and then come back when this is done okay as you can see it's almost done you can see here by the size and how big the file is right here so it's 636 we're at 504 already and it's going to add some last minute things in there and then that process will be completely done your box will be active and ready to go you can see that there's zero errors in it and we're done so that is the fresh install now would you like to force close PMC or reload the profile we're just going to go ahead and force close it so we're going to make sure that force close is selected in red and then hit it and that completely closes it out and it's ready to start so now you can do a new launch of it and wait for everything to update so we're going to click on it and this process takes a little bit of time to update everything 
so once you go there you're going to want to just you know walk away from the box relax for a minute it's going to take probably about five minutes to auto update all the software and everything inside of it so you don't need to sit back and actually watch it you'll see up in the top part of the menu you'll see a lot of things popping up and that's just going to be the different add-ons and I'll kind of wait while that's happening we are going to be updating that scrolling message so don't worry about that as well so this process again you know about five minutes you'll see random pop-ups start to occur like that right there so that's um, an add-on that's updated right now and there'll be a lot more the movie database just updated and again I'm not going to sit here with you on everything everything will update even if it says fail the next time you launch it again it will automatically update it's enabling the add-ons right now and you see that everything again is starting to update so once it allows everything to update that's when you don't have any issues so again there's nothing you have to do at that point it happens automatically and that is the complete update so with the wizard you will never have to worry about putting the build on again it will pop up telling you when the new build is available and just give you the option to download it now or later so I hope you find that useful guys we, we hope we made it easier for you to navigate um, I'm gonna come back and do a quick video basically just to show you guys where the training is going to be on how to use your box okay so thank you for your time watch this video make sure you watch it at least one time or two times before going in to update your box just so you understand how to do it